Escape from planet Earth. You can stay if you want, but you aren't going to like it. As our troubled world begins its journey through a new millennium, hundreds of millions of people are subscribing to the vain philosophy that men must work together harder than ever in a joint effort to make this world a better and safer place for our children and grandchildren. The United Nations are forcing their version of democracy on independent sovereign nations in an effort to bring about a new world order. The environmentalists are cleaning up the planet and ecumenical leaders are pr promoting religious unity so that Hindus, Muslims, Jews, Catholics, and Christians can all get along and worship God together in a brand new utopian age of peace, love, and understanding. There's just one problem. God doesn't like it. Every few decades, some deluded fool sets out to save the world and damns millions of souls to hell in the process. There's only one man capable to saving this world, and the world had him crucified. You can forget about world peace because... You killed the Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9, 6. You can forget a cure, I forget a cure for disease because you murdered the great physician, Matthew 9, 12. This world will never stop famine because it killed the great provider, Matthew 14, 17 through 21. Good world leadership is not attainable because the world murdered the King of Kings, Revelation 19, 16. Like it or not, man is on a collision course with hell. Things are not improving, they're falling apart. God declares that this world is his condemned enemy, James 4, 4, John 3, 18. So man's efforts to save the planet are totally in vain. It's efforts to save the planet, <coughs> it's going to burn. <coughs> Second Peter 3, 10. And no man can do anything about it. If you have good sense, you'll get off the planet. That's right, get off the planet just as you would abandon a burning house. Your only hope is to abandon planet Earth. For better, for a better home above. Go ahead and laugh. You won't be the first to laugh his way into a burning hell. The worst is yet to come. Why leave the planet? Because this wicked world is approaching the most horrible period of time it has ever known. Jesus said, For then shall great tribulation, such as, such as was not since the beginning of the world and to this time, no, nor shall ever be. Matthew 24, 21. The worst is yet to come. All the warning signs are flashing. The, same, the time is near. Satan is setting his stage. You are running out of time. Over 75 million people have died in, in wars in, in, of the 20th century, and there are, no, are, and there are more on the way, Matthew 24, 8. Over 20 million people starve to death every year, and there are, are more on the way, Matthew 24, 7. The 20th century brought more earthquakes than any other century in history, over 10 times as many. And there are more on the way, Matthew 24, 7. The Bible speaks of more disease, more violence, more greed, and more deception. Men will not make this world a better place for us to, because God says it will just get worse and worse. Let God be true, but every man a liar, Romans 3, 4. Antichrist is coming. Since the Lord Jesus Christ will have nothing to do with man's new age dream, the devil himself will provide the great leader to bring it all together. God's word gives us many warnings of this evil character. Over half of the book of Revelation deals with his coming beast. He will take over the world governments, the world economy, and the world religions. He will bring the world into his control, and he will murder those who refuse to follow him. Revelation 13, 1 through 18 and 24. Those who do not do follow him will burn in hell forever, Revelation 14, 11. You say, oh, that's not real, that's not literal. Friend, you are a fool. You have spent... Too, so much time, much of your life looking at television, movies, and video games, and magazines that Satan has you right where he wants you, in dreamland. You can't face reality because your whole life has been wasted on fiction. The Bible is not fiction, and you better start believing it before you end up in hell. The Antichrist will soon arise and deceive millions, billions. God's wrath will be poured out upon the earth, Revelation 16. One third of the earth's population will die, Revelation 9, 15. While millions of others will be horribly tortured, Revelation 6, 8, 9, 5, 12, 12, 16, 1 through 21. The great escape. Rough times are coming and most of the world will find themselves in the great tribulation and finally in hell. But God has a different plan for his own people. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 1, 10 that the church is waiting for the Lord from heaven, not for the great tribulation, because he has delivered us from the wrath to come. First Thessalonians 5, 9 says that God has not appointed us Christians to wrath, but to obtain salvation through 
Christ. Those who have been born again, John 3, 3, will soon be caught up to heaven without dying. Notice what the word of God says. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 52. The Lord, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-18. It is a comfort for Christians to have this blessed promise. It would not be a comfort if Christians had to endure great tribulation. Our merciful Lord will call the church out of this world before the tribulation starts. After all, the church was never really a part of this evil world system anyhow. James 4, 4, Romans 12, 2, Colossians 3, 2. We're just passing through this world to a much better place, Galatians 4, 26. And we will be leaving very soon. What about you? This great departure of the saints is pictured on various occasions in the Bible. Just as God took Enoch out of the world just before the flood. Before the flood uh, Genesis 5, 24. Hebrews 11, 5. He will take his church out of the world before the tribulation. Just as God delivered Lot and his family from the violent judgment upon Sodom, Genesis 19, 22-24, he will deliver his saints from the coming judgment of the great tribulation. Like any responsible father, God will take proper care of his children. He will destroy the devil's children, John 8, 44, and 1 John 3, 10. But his own children are safe and secure. As Psalms 145, 20 ensures us, the Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. The calling out of the church is commonly referred to as the rapture because of the quick and surprising nature in which it occurs. The world will stand in shock when millions of Christians vanish, suddenly vanish from the face of the earth. The freeways, the subways, and the airports and the streets will be total shambles as thousands and thousands of drivers suddenly vanish from their seats. No doubt millions of people will be killed immediately. Those remaining alive will be as in shock as they search for their loved ones among the demolished cars and buildings. Communications will also be greatly disrupted because many key communications people will be caught up in the rapture. Opportunists will end will add to the confusion by looting and killing. They'll feel they that during such an emergency they can get away with anything. There will be worldwide chaos. Authorities may attempt to explain millions of, of missing people, but make no mistake about it, God took them. He promised that he would call out his people so he will call them out. They're all it, that's all that's all there is to it. Many people laugh and make jokes about this Bible doctrine, but there's coming a day when the laughing will end. Noah was a preacher of righteousness who probably received a great deal of mocking and ridicule from the world as he built the ark upon dry ground. And, but the mocking stopped when the flood's waters began to rise. God was true to his word then, and God will be true to his word today. Jesus is coming soon, and you will either be caught up to meet him, or you'll be left behind to enter the great tribulation. The choice is yours. Jesus Christ is your escape, friend. Have you ever turned from your sins and received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Many have the idea that our good new works can save us and get us into heaven. But the Bible says this isn't so. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not 